the hammock battle big bro a hard working elephant was making himself a nice little hammock so he can relax near the pool after a dip he collected the scraps of wood and cloth and spent the whole day sewing it oh this was truly hard work but what a delight it is to make beautiful things now i need to get myself cleaned exclaimed big bro happily and went to take a dip in the water just then shamshir the lion who was passing by the pond noticed the beautiful hammock tied on the tree he smiled greedily grabbed it and took it home big bro came out of the water and started looking for his missing hammock huh where did my beautiful hammock disappear but his hammock was nowhere to be seen the next day when all the animals were gathered near the pond to relax and shamshir walked in whistling happily and tied his hammock and started swinging happily hey shamshir that's my hammock get off it right away our hammock this is my hammock i spent all day making it now and i want to relax Please do not bother me," said Shamshir the lion, going back to sleep. Big Bro approached one side of the hammock and shook the tree so hard that Shamshir had a funny fall. Shamshir, now angry, attacked Big Bro. <sighs> huh? Just then, Husna the hippo. and harry the hare interrupted the fight please stop fighting friends husna the hippo tried to pacify big bro and shamshir tell shamshir to return my hammock this is my hammock everybody saw me walking in with it didn't you then how can i return what is mine replied the clever and manipulative shamshir yes Shamshir did walk in with the hammock," said Minky Mouse. "But I made the hammock yesterday, and he obviously stole it. I have been looking for it all day." "Huh? An elephant spending a day working? Have you ever heard of that? Ha <laughs> ha! This hammock is mine, and everybody knows it," reaffirmed Shamshir the lion very proudly. Well, how do we know who does this hammock belong to? Who is speaking the truth? said Husna the hippo. Hmm. I have an idea, said Harry, and walked towards Big Bro and Shamshir. <coughs> Harry drew a circle in the center and placed the hammock in the middle. He made Big Bro stand on one side and Shamshir on the other. Now each one of you will use your full might to pull this hammock towards yourself. Whoever pulls it out of the circle is the winner. Big Bro and Shamshir got ready for the game. Big Bro and Shamshir both started pulling the hammock. Big Bro used all his might and so did Shamshir. Just then Big Bro heard a sound. He looked at his precious little hammock tearing. This was truly heartbreaking for Big Bro since he had spent all day making the hammock. He could not bear to see a single scratch on his newly made hammock. In order to save the hammock from tearing further, Big Bro let go of his might and strength. Shamshir rejoiced and started jumping with joy. Yes, I win this hammock. This is mine. No Shamshir The hammock belongs to Big Bro. But Harry, you said that whoever pulls the hammock towards themselves is the winner," said Husna the hippo. 
Yes, but the one who owns the hammock would have spent hours making it and would never want it to tear. Big Bro could not bear the thought of his precious hammock tearing, so he let go. Truly owns it. Shimshe was clearly lying. Explained Harry. Harry took the hammock from Shimshir and handed it to Big Bro. Here, Big Bro, you truly own this hammock, said Harry the Hare. What you truly own and love, you also deeply care for. To watch best moral stories, bedtime stories, Nursery Rhymes Like and subscribe to our channel